Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are doing live broadcasting with brother Daud Kim. Alhamdulillah. Firstly, I want thanks to Allah. First, Alhamdulillah, that brother uh, Daud Kim is safe and fine. Alhamdulillah, he is Alhamdulillah. doing very good today. Alhamdulillah, also I saw his video. Alhamdulillah, I was so much happy today because uh, brother Daud Kim is come back and also he he changed many you see and he he was changed a lot and i was every day talking with me him and teaching him him but actually who helped him is allah allah is yes. first actually I, I did nothing but just small help that because allah was ordered to us to help each other but Alhamdulillah, Allah is one who guides people. And when I see Brother Daud Kim, he actually is, uh, mashallah, I Inshallah. feel he his inside changed a lot. <laughs> I, I'm so much happy because of this. And you know, some believers, they change face deeply from heart. We can see the love of Allah. I won't say many things, but firstly, I want thanks to Allah, Alhamdulillah, because mm. actually I talk many things with Daud Kim, brother, but really I want today tell you something. Today we opened the uh, live broadcasting, firstly, to thanks to Allah. After that, of course, we wanted thanks to all of brothers and sisters in Islam to support us and support him and wait for him and all of good dua and all of good prayers and alhamdulillah good words jazakumullah khairan may allah reward you and protect all of you and help all of muslim brothers and daud kim brother also uh, i want say to brother daud kim i want suggest him firstly uh, i want he start to study Islam deeply because yes. as you know the knowledge is so much important firstly of course mm -hmm. we need uh, good intention mm -hmm. and ikhlas we need we need sincerity sincerity and ikhlas for Allah alone after that we need we need many knowledge because actually knowledge is a power when you have knowledge you can you will not feel any any sadness or fear or scare anyone no because allah said in quran a lot of ayahs more than two, 12, 12 times allah says la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun when you have knowledge when you believe allah when you do good deeds and stay in the right way allah will make you happy allah will never make you sad or scare anything mm -hmm but you fear Allah alone. So I really want to suggest uh, Brother Daud Kim to start Islam differently. It will change you a lot. It will make you, you already, Allah, only, Allah knows how you repent, how you said your sadness also for your family and for yourself. You, need, you did a lot of thinking and changing, but it's not end all. You started now it's beginning and you can change from now more and more because Allah gave us life we cannot stop everything we can just die but we have to live we have to change mm -hmm. our life so I suggest you to start study and before we make I, I suggest you many things I want to suggest you many things for example study about uh, we need also pray worshiping how to worship Allah how to worship Allah is so much important mm -hmm. this is called al-fiqh 
uh, you know, that Kim, you know, there's Sharia, but Sharia. inside Sharia, there's many things. But first things is, of course, we, we will learn about Islam firstly. Mm. We will learn about Aqidah and Islam, how to believe Allah. I know already you know everything, you, you mm. learned a lot, but uh, for more deep knowledge, inshallah, That's and right. how to believe Allah. Then you will learn how to worship Allah. It's called uh, fiqh, fiqh al-ibadat. Fiqh al-ibadat. Then we can learn many things. We can learn Quran, we can uh, learn Hadith, we can learn uh, mm. Sirah, Sirat Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Tafsir, the meaning of Quran, Tajweed. You can learn many things. Yeah. Mm. So I suggest you first to like this. Mm. But actually we can make make uh, uh this is first thing is like aqidah how to believe allah then fakal ibadat is how to worship allah prayer psalm fasting like this and mm -hmm. you can learn also quran how to read and tafsir hadith but i suggest you for example tomorrow for example tomorrow we study uh for you today, inshallah, today from today we start. If you agree, of course, inshallah, today we start uh, like how believing Allah is how called Allah. Uh, iman, faith, faith, uh, iman, in, faith, uh, my faith. in English, faith, al iman. In Arabic, iman. we say iman. iman. And for example, tomorrow we s we learn from fiqh. For you start from. Um, how to pray for example of course prayer is so much important mm. we can learn just one hour how much important prayer yes. start how how to pray I know you pray always and you know already how to pray but I want to tell you more deeply yes, and right. each meaning yeah and each dua and supplications and how to mm. pray more deeply inshallah to pray it's more deep yeah inshallah. so it's like this uh, fiqh and also I think you know Arabic language is very important Arabic right. is Arabic. key of knowledge key of ah, knowledge because okay. Quran is Arabic and Hadith is Arabic so oh, so you know Arabic right. language is so much important Arabic and Arabic, Arabic is, is key so of much important yeah. so I suggest you to start to study Arabic language inshallah mm, inshallah yes so we say uh, al arabiya miftahul al ilm miftahul al ilm <laughs> so oh. its meaning is the Arabic language is key of the knowledge here knowledge meaning is ulum uh, al-islamiya the knowledge of Islam Quran and Sunnah so mm. I suggest you like this mm. and you will learn a lot of things you will learn a lot of things. Mm, yes. It's not just any knowledge or any any information. When you study, you know more about Allah. Allah says in Quran, the who really fear Allah, who really have taqwa, fear Allah, who has knowledge. So oh. as long as you have more knowledge, you will fear Allah. And of course you will you will feel so much sweetness. Sweetness from oh. the face, and it's it's need need knowledge because Allah mm. says in Quran, "Fa'lam annahu la ilaha illallah wa astaghfir li dhanbik." It's meaning uh, know about uh, la ilaha illallah, and you need knowledge first. Mm. Then you can ask istighfar, fa astaghfir mm. li dhanbik. Ask forgiveness to Allah. So of mm. course. I know you already did depend and I, I taught you in Korean language in this week almost many weeks you learned many things in Korean language you know Astaghfirullah Astaghfirullah I taught you this right Astaghfirullah many times you, you can say Astaghfirullah Astaghfirullah and this also when you want Istighfar, astaghfirullah, or ask forgiveness to Allah, you can learn, you need to learn a lot of knowledge. Uh, you can start, yes. for example, inshallah, today we start, today inshallah, inshallah, from, inshallah, today we start, the meaning of true meaning of la, la ilaha, I, I have question, illallah, yes. Uh, if I, 
to the meaning of la ilaha illallah you can learn because Allah said fa'lam annahu la ilaha illallah wa astaghfir li dhanbik you must know yes mm. yeah right so, uh, so I have a question if I do a with Arabic then it's more powerful than other language yes uh -huh. so oh. mashallah very important <laughs> Mm -hmm. So brothers and sisters, please do dua for us. I I know uh, you know in the teaching in Islam we need a lot of mm. good manners and we need we need the good etiquette to teach and help each other. Mm. And you know I cannot force him. I cannot say any do this do this but i see brother Daud kim he he have ragaba he wants to learn he wants change his life yes, so yes. i I, I believe that he can change a lot i believe he can do uh, he can study inshallah what do you think brother absolutely yeah. okay. I, I i want to learn and i know that's uh I can change myself Mashallah. if I have more knowledge about Islam. Yes. And I really appreciate to Imam Abdul Al Kori Mashallah. because you know we talked every day yes. like for four months and I learned a lot of things and it was really helpful to change myself. Alhamdulillah. And, and and actually Alhamdulillah you are the only one who Korean Muslim who helped me when I was in trouble. So um yeah, I I really Appreciate at first. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I want to learn. Uh, you want to learn. So you agree to restart study? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Inshallah. Thank you so much. I really happy and firstly, I'm sorry, brother. I was a little problem in the audio, but now oh, I can yes, hear yes. you very well. Alhamdulillah. So I'm sorry oh. for I couldn't hear you, but now I can hear you very well, and yes. you can speak and ask any time. I will listen you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And firstly, I want to say uh, Ashukrillah. Ashukrillah is meaning all of thanks to Allah. <laughs> Actually, ashukrilla. yes, Ashukr, Ashukr. You know, Alif Lam, you learned Al. Ah, al, -shukr. al Shukr. Al yes, Shukr, thanks, but Al Shukr. All of Shukr, all of thanks and praise. Ashukr, Lillah, Lillahi Rabbil Alameen, for Allah. So I won't say to you, I shukrillah. I mean, don't thanks to me. <laughs> I did nothing. Uh, uh, yes, I did. I did nothing. Actually, Allah one who guided you, and Allah is one who helped you. And I know you ask help to Allah. And actually, you know, today when I see your video, I was so much happy. But I was remember this. No, actually, I did nothing, brother. I'm nothing actually. And actually, really. Truly, indeed, one who guided you and Allah actually guides. We need guide, guidance of Allah always. Hidayah, we need always. So we do. Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqim. When you pray, you read Surat al-Fatiha, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, right. Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqim. You, you ask to Allah always. Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqim. Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqim. You always ask to ask guidance of Allah, right? So. Uh. So actually, actually, you need more guide. You need more guide. So you ask to Allah always guide you. Uh -huh. Then Allah will help you and Allah will change you and Allah will forgive you. And inshallah, you can success even in afterlife. The real success is afterlife, not just in yes, this yes. life. So yeah. I, I was remember some hadith. I really want to show you. So. After see this your your video, I was write comments. Mm. Uh, it it oh, was I saw, I saw that. yes, Sorry. it Sorry. was yes, it was hadith about Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Uh, I want I want explain you now. Can I explain you this hadith? <laughs> of course, please. Yes, so I will show you now in the screen. Yes. That time was one of Sahaba was with Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he mm -hmm. was in the he was very young age he was riding with him but he was back uh, 
backside of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he said, uh, one day I was riding behind the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Brother, you can see the screen? You yes. can see how this? Can you read? Uh, one day, yes. I was uh, riding behind the Prophet uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, when he said, Oh boy, I will instruct you in some matters. Uh, be watchful of Allah, commandments of Allah. He will preserve you, uh, safeguard his rights. He will, um, he will be ever with you. If you beg, beg of him alone. Uh, and if you need assistance, uh, supplicate to Allah alone for help. Uh, and remember that if all the people gather to benef benefit you, they will not be able to benefit you except that um, which Allah uh, which Allah had for uh, foreordained for you. Yes. Uh, and if all of them gather to harm you. Gather uh, if we gather to do harm to you, yes, they will not be able to afflict you with anything other than that which Allah had predestined yes. against you. Yes, uh, the pens had been lifted and the ink had dried up. Thank you so much for reading. I will mm -hmm. try to. I want. I really want. I wish today we study this. Okay, uh, because yeah. this also related with La Ila illallah so inshallah today we learn true meaning of la ilaha illallah ah, true meaning of la ilaha illallah yes because i i know you already know it i know you studied a lot but really i want today show you the true meaning because uh, mm -hmm. not not just you actually a lot of muslims a lot of muslims some of muslims they don't really understand this because mm -hmm. it's not just it's not just there is no God but Allah, <laughs> but yes, because yes. it's so much big meaning. But one of it, I I want to tell you today, uh -huh. and it's it, it's also related with this hadith, uh -huh. and also when I told you, don't thanks to me, thanks to Allah, I shukri Allah. It's also uh -huh. connected with his here. When you see the when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, "Oh boy, I will instruct you." In some mm -hmm. matters, it's meaning Ya Ghulam, if you see here, Ifadillah Ya Father, it's very famous. Be watchful of Allah, then He will preserve you. Ifadillah Ya Father, it can be also meaning Ifadillah Ya Father, remember Allah, then Allah will remember you. Oh. It's Arabic, we say Ifadillah Ya Father, yes, Ifadillah. Oh. Yahfad. Yes. MashaAllah. Yahfad. It's meaning remember Allah. Then Allah will remember you. Uh, yes. If I remember Allah, Allah remember me. Yes. So um. you see, Ifadillah Yahfad is meaning also remembering is a lot of meaning also. It's like Vikr. Vikr. You learned about Vikr, right? Vikr. Yeah. Remember Allah is Vikr. But Fikr doesn't mean, also, of course I told you about Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar mm. uh, 33 times, then you can say La ilaha illallah after prayer I told you it's, it'll be so much happy for you when you remember Allah but mm. actually it's not just you read Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah no, you really remember Him and act as He ordered you so it's uh, his command and his order you obey and remember Allah and w so it's written here be watchful of Allah yes mm -hmm. it can be also meaning of ihfadillah so <laughs> yes ihfadillah <laughs> so then then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said ihfadillah 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 tajiduhu tujahak and uh, when you ask Allah and when you uh, remember Allah you will find his his front of you and also there is some uh, words important is 
Why does istanta fasta'in billah? This is so much important part here. If you beg, beg of him alone. It's, it's, you can say in Arabic, uh, Why does sa'alta fasta'in This one, I really want you to remember this always because when you study Surat Al-Fatiha, Yes. Yeah, you read every day in Al-Fatiha, you read every day in prayer, right? Yes. Here you, you will find Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasta'in Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasta'in Actually, this is also about Tawheed you learned oh, about Tawhid, yeah. right? Tawhid yes. and it's also uh, related, connected with about La ilaha illallah. Mm. Here also connected with La ilaha illallah. Allah this Allah. is so much important part. So I will tell you actually who helped you, who support you is Allah. Allah is one who guided you. And he, we still need his guidance. So we say, right. Every prayer we ask to Allah to guide us to right way. Sirat uh -huh. alayhim. That Allah bless it to them. We want in their right, their way. Sirat alladina anamta alayhim. Ghayrim maktubi alayhim. Waladdalin. We want. Uh, be in the mustaqim sirat sirat al mustaqim we want to be in the right way straight way so here the true meaning is like this uh, i will tell you after this hadith i will tell you again the true meaning of la ilaha illallah for example now i will tell you just simply it's not just there is no god but allah yes. but it's meaning you ask help to allah alone and you can see here if you need assistance, supplicate to Allah alone for help. Uh, on, uh, only Allah. Yes. Only Allah. Because Allah is actually one who help you and guide you. Uh, not anyone. Actually, it's not me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, because Allah know, knows alone so your mind, so. your inside, your intention. So you know? Ah, uh, so he's the only one who helped me and guide me and yes. like, when I need help, I only beg to Allah. Yes. Only ask to Allah. So actually you have to ask to Allah. So I know you pray a lot. I know you ask help to help Allah to Allah a lot. So I'm just me and our brothers and sisters here, we are just as Muslims. Allah ordered us to help Muslim brothers and sisters. So we are just helping for Allah because of Allah. So oh. when we say, actually I won't say to you many, but I was so much shy, but I can say now, Brother Daud Kim, I love you for Allah. We oh. can say in Arabic, Uhibbuka fillah. Uhibbuka fillah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I love you you know, you know, yes, you know, Uhibbuka. This, you, you listen many times, but oh. someone really love you is one who says, Uhibbuka fillah. It's meaning, yes, it's meaning, I love you for Allah. Uh, I love you for the sake of Allah. Uh, this is so much different. This, oh, this yes, is so, yes, because, yes. for example, if someone just love you for himself or just w someone want to be famous, someone want money mm -hmm. or someone want uh, fame or like this, maybe mm -hmm. they can say to you, I love you. Oh, mm -hmm. I love you. Let's meet. Let's do something. But uh -huh. if someone yes. really love you, for Allah is different. Uh -huh. If someone love you for Allah, they don't ask you anything. Uh, they don't, don't want anything. Yes, just for just love as the brother as the servant of Allah. Yes, like, that's, like, that is the love of Allah. Hope uh -huh. So uh -huh. they can they say to you if someone say to you, Ah, I love you. I love you and follow you maybe we, we don't know 100 percent but if one if someone really sincerely say to you kafilla, and it's meaning love you for the sake of allah it's, uh. it's meaning exactly different first how you can know 
So how you can know someone love you? It's uh. for Allah. How you can know? There's a way. First things, ah, uh, there's two things. Most big thing is two. First thing, someone love you and help you, but he wants something from you. <laughs> Oh. He wants something from you, anything, e even money or help or anything. Say please do for me, do this for me, do this. For ask you something. Mm -hmm. That's why he love you or help you. This oh, is first okay, thing. Okay. It was not love for Allah. Mm. Uh, brother, yeah. after I, call you, you have <laughs> I love you. Mashallah. 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 There is also oh. some answer I will teach you later. Anyway. I I said I I love you also for Allah and Allah also uh, may Allah love you also I pray like this and you know there's some other also other way first thing yes. worst thing this love wasn't love for Allah but maybe love for himself or anything it's not wrong but it's different mm -hmm. so someone love you for something give me money or do this for me help for me and second mm -hmm. things when you are rich when you have when you are famous when you get a lot of love they close to you and ask something or say i love you but mm. when you lost everything <laughs> you mm. lost for example you lost your famous you lost your uh age young age or money or anything you lost they mm. will they will run away from you because they they feel that they, they don't have any benefit <laughs> from you but yes. if someone love you truly they will never leave you whatever you do of course if someone doing sins or bad things we don't want bad things we hate mm -hmm. sins but we don't love we don't left the brother we want mm -hmm. help to change we want help to close Allah more we want give opportunity we don't want like cancer culture. Or cancer, cancer, finish. Oh, it's like it's like to just die or suicide. No, this is not Islam. Islam, forgiveness, love, but not just love. Love for Allah. So this is exactly different. So that's why I I say to you, no need thanks to me. Thanks to Allah because I just love you for Allah, not for I want something from you. And uh, you can see here also a lot of brothers and sisters, mashallah, okay, okay. they also... Uh, after after yeah. I'm sorry, I, can you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear my you. Is okay? Yes, I hear you very well. Can I uh, give me just five seconds? I will... Uh, okay, no problem, yeah. no problem. Internet has to be Okay, yes. So, alhamdulillah, I'm so much happy for can tell him these messages. Because sometimes we talk a lot in Korean language, but sometimes, uh, yes. yeah, sometimes because we are men, <laughs> men to <laughs> men is so much shy to the personal. You say I love you, for, I love you. It's very hard. But alhamdulillah, yeah. we have chance for talk about this in the live broadcast, and alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. so he he, he can understand English. Allah, so no, I'm yeah. not shy. Yeah, mashallah. <laughs> mashallah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. So it's also a lot of scholars and say when they teach ch uh, students, they always say, "La uh, haya fi 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 ilm fi sharia." It means actually shy is good, but when you study, no need something shy. Mm. We can learn everything. We can learn al fiqh. We can learn sharia. We can learn everything without shy because mm -hmm. this for knowledge of course for knowledge for Allah mm -hmm. so inshallah we will learn everything inshallah so this is uh, Islam is amazing Islam is beautiful it's connected with everything you see even just one hadith mm -hmm. even just this hadith give a lot of meaning <laughs> and it's connected what we study today also is about true meaning of shahada right true yes, meaning yes. of la ilaha illallah a lot of people they doing shahada and become muslim but actually not all people understand the true meaning mm -hmm. so i really wanted to give you this message and alhamdulillah that we have chance and i know you already know all of this but i really want to say again i wish you can understand mm -hmm. so i will tell you when you say la ilaha illallah it's not 
simple. It's really amazing. You know, I told you before. I, I know, I know this. I know you know this already. But you know, the most big good deeds, most best one, best words, best sentence, mm. best things that you can do is la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Yes, exactly. Mashallah. <laughs> Actually, you know, when you go. When you when we go to in judgment day front of Allah, we have bizan. We have like Joel, you ah, know Joel. Ah, ah. We put oh, here no, good deeds and bad deeds. Yes, we put good deeds and we also put bad deeds. And when our good deeds become more heavy, we enter Jannah. But when we have more heavy in sins, of course we enter uh, Jannah. But I I ask Allah to protect us, and you know which one is most heavy from from the good deeds. Mm. As I said, the la best words. You're right, exactly. Ah, that is the most he heavy good deeds. It's so much heavy in the whole university. Ah. There is not good than la ila illallah. Mm. It's so much amazing words. And there is a lot of deep meaning. It's not just there is no God but Allah, but a lot of meanings. Oh, a lot of meanings. Is in this sentence. Yes, everything. 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 You, you can see even love for Allah, hub fillah, and about brotherhood in Islam. About, of course, first thing, Tawheed. Tawheed is inside La ilaha illallah. And uh, a lot of meaning, Surah Al Fatiha is from La ilaha illallah. And actually, oh, Quran okay. is all of Quran is la ilaha illallah. It's all of full of tawhid, and you know tawhid is the the oh. right of Allah. Allah has haq, Allah has rights, and Allah la ilaha illallah is that we should do because Allah says wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa illa liyabudun. Is meaning we Allah created us for worship Him. But how to worship Him? This is that's why we need knowledge to worship mm -hmm. Allah alone without partner. Mm -hmm. So, Nabudullah wahdahu la sharika la, wala nushrik bi shayan. So, when we say, uh, I will do little, little one by one. La ilaha illallah, really big, amazing meaning. Also, mm -hmm. we can say, for example, in English, in better than we say, for example, there is no God. But Allah, we can say like this better. Uh, for example, meaning meaning is will be like this. No mm -hmm. one, no one is worthy of worship except Allah. Oh. So we can say uh, there is no God but Allah. But we can say there is no worthy of worship except Allah. Ah, so we can a say little bit as it's longer. Yeah, li it, it, actually, it's not not all, but it's better translation. <laughs> ah, better. Oh, yeah, it, it's I better guess. translation. So, mm -hmm. in, in Korean language, we say also many people, uh, 하나님 외에 다른 신이 없다. But actually, the better translation is 하나님 외에 경배받을 존재는 없다. It can be better. It's like ah. there is no worthy of worship except Allah. Better than this is actually there is there is no God but Allah. I will I will explain you again in the rest of this video, step by step, the true meaning of La ilaha illallah. Yes, but there is a lot of meaning inside. Of course, this is first things about Tawheed. I will oh. tell you again in the last video today. Okay. But also there is a lot of meanings inside. It's really amazing. Oh. As you can see, inside have everything. That's why La ilaha illallah so much heavy. This is what we learned here. When you want, uh, when you want ask something, what you, what you do? If you beg, beg to Allah alone. Mm. You can beg it to Allah alone. No need begging to people. And mm. when you need assistance, we say uh, this is like uh, tawakkul or istian. When you know, 
إذا سألت فاسأل الله وأستعنت فاستعن بالله استعن بالله is meaning if you need assistance supplicate to Allah alone for help this, this also can be the meaning from the uh, Surah Fatiha إياكنا عبدو وإياكنا استعين so you you just ask help to Allah and you rely on Allah alone this is mm. so much important and heavy meaning mm. uh, so this uh, la 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 will repeat again in the last video but I want to complete this hadith first mm. here also so much amazing when you read mm. can you read here and remember that if all the people gather uh, gather to benefit you yes uh, they will not be able to benefit you except that which Allah had for ordained for you yeah yes I will see this this is so much of AG oh. you know why I say to you no need thanks to me because actually who did is Allah it's not just I say it just for uh showing the islam knowledge no actually this is true <laughs> i will oh, tell you what right. i will tell oh, you what after i call it uh, this yes. is a uh, yes this sentence is in korean yes uh in uh 항상 기억한다면 여긴가 아니 기대가 here here is uh here is if anyone yes. 모두가 uh, no 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 it's not about dom dom is asking help but yes. next this 존재하는 모든 것들이 한데 모여서 그대에게 유용한 것을 주려고 해도 아, yes, yes, yes. yes, here but they cannot help you 아... it's meaning, see, see, for example I love you for Allah, I want to help you, I want to help my brother in Islam so, 아... see, example, I want to help you, okay? and 아... here, mashallah, a lot of brothers and sisters support you, right? now yes. more than <laughs> Thousand people watching this live oh, really? broadcasting. Oh, ah, people watching Subhanallah. This. Thousand. Thousand? Thousand. <laughs> Why? Why are they watching this? So, <laughs> see, see, everybody love you for Allah. Okay? Oh. Many people love you for Allah. But see this. Why I say to you, don't thanks to me. Even I love you for Allah. Even I help you. Even I want. Allah. Yeah. Even I want to help you. And actually, I help you. Allah. But, but. As from this hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, even whole people in the world won't benefit you. Uh. But you cannot get any benefit except Allah, Allah wrote for you. Uh. It's meaning Allah already decided something for you. It, only this happened. Uh, isn't it yeah. like a sixth? Uh, yes, 정명. it's from six the beliefs. Destiny. The destiny. Allah made the plan Allah's destiny. destiny. Yes. So that is the Mashallah. Anything that is Mashallah. the most important than anything. Mashallah. So Mashallah. it's is this is really amazing. In in Arabic, you can see uh, al umma all of all of umma all of Muslims in the world want support you and help you. But actually, it will not happen. Uh, Except okay, so yeah. I don't need to like help yeah. me when people help me, and I don't need to be sad. When yeah. people do bad things, <laughs> yeah. because Allah. it's already yeah. Allah made the plan for me. You are right. So, uh, so uh -huh. it will not happen except ma kata ballahu lak. Except Allah, what Allah wrote for you already. So uh -huh. even I won't help you, and even I help you, you don't get any benefit except Allah already wrote it. So, for example, if you got some benefit from me. This is because oh. of Allah, not because of me. Because Allah wrote for you that you get some benefit knowledge from Islam and you you be inshallah true Muslim and your iman be grow mm. is by Allah, not by me. <laughs> because oh. you see this this hadith is so much amazing. And mashallah you already mashallah. said you already said the result the the lessons. <laughs> you don't have to be so much happy and you don't have to be so much sad. As you can see here, uh, you can see, please, can you read here, and? Uh, uh, and if all of them gather yeah. to do harm yeah. to you, yes. they will not be able to afflict you with anything other than yes. that which Allah had predestined against you. Yes. Uh, 
<laughs> you, you see oh, here, see, even see. whole oh. world, not just some people want some, for example, some Korean people or some any non-Muslims want mm. harm you or anyone, even Muslim or anyone want to harm you or even whole world want harm you. Mm. Don't be, no need said <laughs> because nothing will harm you except what Allah wrote something for you. So no need scare anything but you must fear Allah because uh, maybe Allah can punish you and maybe yes. can Allah do some harm for you but actually you know I saw your post you wrote some about hadith about mm. uh, actually you can you you must know this when you you actually wrote it I saw it from Insta <laughs> your Instagram I was so much surprised yes. how you know this hadith Actually, you know, when Allah give you hardship, when Allah give you so much like musibah or something like disaster, so much hardship, right? Even yes, it's right. happened to your someone do badly to your family, it's really hard. I oh. know even there's I because I know because some of bad people oh. call they are Muslims or I don't know who, but I I know. But anyway, I don't know they are inside, but they did even badly to my wife when I do Tao in Korea mm. so I was uh, understand you but you see when it's happened actually it's because not because something bad meaning but Allah actually loves you but of this course is hadith yeah. is for me. <laughs> of, yeah. for me. it's all connected Islam is oh, amazing okay. all of hadith mashallah is big meaning it's so much deep mm. meaning you see so that's why I say, if a whole world try to harm you, don't scare, don't be sad. But you must fear Allah. Yeah. You must fear Allah because Allah yes. can punish you. Allah can give you more big hardship to you. But don't lose your hope. Don't mm -hmm. lose your hope from... Uh, don't lose your hope nor be sad. Yes. I, I love this Quran. <laughs> and yes. You, you, yes, you, wrote, you read Quran and Allah, Allah forgive all of sins. Of course, it says shirk, but... Of course, if in the life, even someone did shirk, if he do tawbah, inshallah, mm -hmm. Allah will forgive him. Anyway, don't lose hope from mercy of Allah, rahmatillah. The rahma of Allah so much wide and big. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so even Allah punish you or even Allah give you some hardship, don't be sad, but know mm -hmm. that Allah loves you. Why? Why? Because, because by this, firstly, by this, you change your life. Uh -huh. By this, you change your insight, your iman, your faith, mm -hmm. and by this, your afterlife change. Afterlife. Yes. For example, you did some so much big sins, and mm -hmm. maybe you enter Jahannam, you enter Aliyad will love, you enter uh, hell because of this. Mm -hmm. But Allah may, Allah knows, Allah loves you, so Allah give some punishment before mm -hmm. afterlife. So you can don't you don't get this punishment in afterlife. This also happened a lot. So we, we can see some of people get a lot of hardship, get a lot of punishment. It looks like punishment, like disease or I mean actually my my hair is so much bad but I always thank Allah for this disease. It can be a little crazy or stupid, but you know. I thanks to Allah for my disease, for my sick, my stomach, mm -hmm. my body, for very sick. But I ask help. I, I'm happy because I know I do a lot of mistakes. But Allah loves me, so Allah give punishment me now before after life. So maybe I I have chance to change myself. Mm -hmm. So I was happy. Actually, I know it's so much hardship for you, but. Mm -hmm. I wish you understand this true meaning of la ilaha illallah and this meaning of this hadith so you know why Allah give you all of this hardship because Allah loves you and you change your life and many many reasons you see you change your life in this life you, you your face become more high level and you become true true Muslim more strong iman more strong faith and inshallah even after life Allah forgive you instead of you go more big punishment in afterlife you can think Allah give chance to this life Allah gives more punishment in this life 
so we don't get more big punishments because this is actually also what Allah wrote it for us that's why we must fear Allah but also we have hope from Allah so Allah can Allah will forgive us all of things when we when we do tawbah repent to Allah is is we called like the bird you know bird bird, bird yeah say <laughs> that how bird fly you know by okay. two wings yes by two okay. wings no bird flying by one wing <laughs> oh. so we need two wings what is that one is hope one is fear hope we, and fear yeah we fear Allah but we also have hope to Allah that Allah will forgive us Allah will forgive me when I repent and return to him but also we need fear you know we have to fear Allah we don't scare anything we don't fear anything but we must fear Allah because you see you see we you read it whole of world won't harm you but they cannot harm you except what Allah wrote for you then Allah can harm you actually Allah can for punish you so you must fear Allah so a lot of Muslims don't understand this some people so much strict and say no it's bad it's haram haram you are bad you are bad man you go hell so, and some people just no Allah forgive everything don't worry Allah merciful just oh. like this no. it's both wrong <laughs> actually we need both mm. you need to fear Allah and you need also the hope of Allah that you have big hope that Allah will forgive you uh -huh. everything Allah will forgive you everything <laughs> yes but you need also fear Allah this is oh. balance hope and fear yes it must be together uh -huh. it must be together so you can like birds fly in the sky mm -hmm. you need this both uh -huh. okay so I, I didn't know this part <laughs> oh, really? I it's, think it do, yeah it yeah makes sense. It, actually hope it's it's, it's the it's true Islam this is real Islam the the right way of Islam because some people just one way so much cheat and scare or so much just love only love but you need both you need yes hope and fear exactly Seven. this is Islam this is difference from between uh, Christianity and Islam also um. some Christian people say ah, the God is love everything love but actually Islam is it, actually Islam is true religion so you can see why Islam is true religion Islam is balance Islam is wasat it's not uh, extreme religion or just one way only oh. only scare only stick no only just hope only love no we are balanced balance. yeah this is you this can they can explain everything yeah it's, it's guide your life very in balanced way yeah not right only just one way yeah, it, mashallah, yes. Allah yaftalik, barakallah fit. So here, this is end of story that Rufiat Aklam, Wajafat Sufub, its meanings, uh, Allah already wrote it. Rufiat Aklam meaning the, the Allah wrote everything, finished. Wajafat oh. Sufub, its meanings, the ink is become dry, <laughs> finished. Mm. So its meaning, Allah already wrote for you everything. Mm. So how great. Allah, Allah Akbar. So we say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Yeah, it's meaning Allah. We glory to Allah, but He's amazing, powerful. He's, it's like the Almighty. He don't have any limit. He's perfect. We cannot even understand it because Allah's ability is the no limit. We, so Allah wrote for you everything. So we must. Fear Allah and also we love Allah and ask to Him forgiveness always. So we say Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah and ask to Allah, please Allah write for me the good way, good things. I know no one can ha benefit me except what you write for me, wrote mm -hmm. for me. And I know no one can harm me. I don't scare anyone except what you wrote for me something, uh, if, uh, punishment or something hardship. So I fear you alone and I love you more than anyone. Mm. So you love Allah more than anyone, then this is true meaning of La ilaha illallah. <laughs> this is true meaning of La ilaha illallah. So oh. I wish you uh, so, so realize this. In, in this one yes, sentence. that's why La ilaha illallah is so much heavy words. You cannot oh. even describe how much is important. 
and a lot of Muslims actually they don't really know this the true meaning of la ilaha illallah and even we are you know even me like you convert to Muslims and we don't mm -hmm. we don't know many things than other foreign Muslims but at least we know this la ilaha illallah but we got a lot of big big blessings so mm -hmm. don't be sad or <laughs> sorrow yes. you learned a lot of big knowledge now mm -hmm. So, step by step. Yeah, step by step. But actually, you learned almost <laughs> because it's it's all actually it's all. Tawhid is everything in Islam. It's most important things. Oh. That's why in the Judgment Day, just because of words La ilaha illallah, your your good deeds become so much heavy. So it's become like this. <laughs> oh. So actually, you learned today most important thing. Oh, first the tear, first the tear. Yeah, oh, good deeds in yes. my life. It's so much important. It's more heavy than anything in the world. A whole university, we correct, but la oh. la la most big and most heavy oh. and most so important. Even like very good guy have always zakat and be good, doing good things. Yes, but he don't. He doesn't have the right. the face of Allah. Then his good deeds is very light. Exactly. Right? This okay. meaning is la ilaha illallah. It's this is true meaning of la ilaha illallah. So that's why knowledge is also very important. That's why I suggest you to study Islam deeply. Mm. Actually, Allah says in Quran, "Fa'alam uh, annahu la ilaha illallah wa sakfiri dambek." It's meaning know it first. Study about the knowledge la ilaha mm. illallah. Then ask forgiveness to Allah. <laughs> We can learn also many the lessons and meaning from this ayah of Quran, but it's exactly just wrote it wordly. La ilaha illallah. You must know la ilaha illallah. And also, of course, it's also you need learn first before act. Al al ilm qabla kauli wal amal. This meanings the knowledge before speaking and act. So I know I cannot force anyone. Of course, Islam is not forcing. So. Mm. Even you have, you can do YouTube and communicate mm. our Muslim brothers and sisters by English and communicate. If you do in halal way, it's halal. But mm. uh, so I cannot say stop. But I want you focus study because when you, you know, I mm. I know also I was also I have also YouTube channels. So I know editing mm. so much take time. <laughs> yeah, also you so. visit here and there yeah. and interview. Also take time. You move far place. You mm -hmm. use a lot of time, so I wish you study first. If mm -hmm. you study, yeah, yes. and actually, you know, I did Dawa almost ten years, but <laughs> I know not many people know me, so I'm not so much any effect many people. But mashallah, alhamdulillah, you are like a lot of subscribers from whole mus whole the world, and you have really blessings, alhamdulillah. You can you have big chance. For example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you can do YouTube, for example, in Islamic way. It can be also Dawah. And actually now a lot, a lot of people from Indonesia and Malaysia and whole world actually, even Europe, America, there's a lot of people watching you and learn from you. So... Learn <laughs> from me? No, you don't know. No, no. Even small things, they get a lot of effect. So if you... How about even until now you was doing many things, but how about you study first? If you oh, study... Yeah, if you study and keep going this YouTube work, you keep mm. true meaning of Islam. Or, for mm. example, you show them true meaning of La ilaha illallah. It's so yes, right, much right. beautiful, I, amazing. I, I think this is yeah. also like from Hadith, from Quran, I think this is for me, it's very hard time. Yeah. But I think it's also like Allah's like plan to study Islam and properly. Yeah, and right. Like because I didn't know, I didn't study Islam very much. Yes. And this is the perfect timing for uh, grow my knowledge about yes. Islam. And yeah, right. Right? That's yeah, why. That's why maybe also. Allah wanted this from you. Yes, and right. actually now a lot, really a lot of young Muslim brothers and sisters get effect from you. So if you show them you changing and you learn true Islam and you show them the true knowledge. You will you will give them a lot of good effect, and you don't know how much this is big 
benefit to you in afterlife is called hasanat you have a lot of good deeds in afterlife you are the you know you will be really success in afterlife the success in this life very small it's nothing it can be disappear anytime it's quickly but if you success in afterlife this is forever eternal life is not end and you know in the jannah also darajat jannah also there's a more high level so you do many good deeds you can go more high level of jannah it's so much important because many people want success mm -hmm. in this life but they don't know how to success in afterlife so i think if you learn all of these knowledges and you can tell to young muslim brothers and sisters how you change how you learn they will get a lot of good effect and this is will be so much big uh, the reward you know it's called it's not just sadaqa you know sadaqa it's like some good deeds you're doing even by benefit knowledge oh. but it's, it can be sadaqa jariya it meaning this sadaqa never end even mm. after we die after you die but for example people already learn from you all of knowledges from whole world then they pray they believe they believe Allah they pray each prayer each things they doing you get also hasana you get also reward even after you die oh. the reward increase more and more we spread that's why we want spread Islam we want spread the true Islam and knowledge of Islam then you you get benefit you give benefit to young Muslim brothers in the whole world you will get mm -hmm. a lot of reward then you, re you will really success in afterlife Oh, that's the real meaning of success. Yes, that's real success. Sure. In this life, everything short. Your fame, your money, your everything can be disappear just one second. But yes, you're, you're, I, I <laughs> think that this time. Uh, I <laughs> really you're you're lucky to very <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. But the afterlife success never ends. It's eternal life. I, I ask to Allah to help you and guide you and give you true success in afterlife, in both life inshallah and all the Muslim brothers and protect all the Muslim brothers and sisters in the whole world Amen. I mean I <laughs> Allah, Allah really have plan for me yes this is so much important actually I want to tell you many things but I don't want burden to you or force you uh, okay, we, we have to do yeah. everything, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> inshallah, not too much. Inshallah. Every day, little, little. Today, just one hadith is so much important. We yes, learned it. Yes. I wish you remember this hadith always. And mm -hmm. never, you know, some people, some people, I know you are not like this. Some people, like, have so much subscribers or, for example, so much famous mm -hmm. or so much success in money, they mm -hmm. become, like, mutakabir, it's meanings arrogant you know uh, arrogant this this so much dangerous you know uh, actually you see here for example in this hadith whole world won't benefit you they will not benefit you except Allah right uh, and yes. some people think ah oh, a lot of people whole world love me and also he thinks I'm best I'm good that's why mm -hmm. they love me so I get benefit and I'm very good one they don't think that this happened because of Allah. Allah blessed you, not mm. people and not you. Mm. But they don't know, so they do so much mutakabir, so much arrogant. Wow, you know, that's very dangerous. Dangerous. very dangerous, very dangerous. You know why? The first shaitan, the first evil, is his iblis, right? From jinn, yes. iblis. Mm. How he becomes shaitan? From his kibra, from his arrogance. He become mutakabir, he become arrogant, and he disobey disobey Allah. He don't oh. do what Allah order him. Very dangerous. Then he, if you just uh, in your short life, yeah. you just uh, popularity and fame, so yeah. you're very arrogant. But after life, eternal life, you go. Yeah, you are right. Not you can't because go down because it, so, wow, it's it's very dangerous. Yeah, I be careful. I want to make short, but actually it's so much important. So I want to tell you this before we end. It, this is also a true meaning of la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Because, oh, yeah. That's so important. This is also important. Only one God. Only one God. That's yeah. To hear only one God, you can 
also remember hadith that I told you today. Ifadillah, mm. uh, Ifadah. Isailah, Istanbillah. When you want to ask something, ask to Allah alone. Mm -hmm. And you rely to Allah alone. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. Surah Fatiha, Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasa'in. We worship you only. And we ask ah. help everything to you only. This is also connected this hadith. Many people don't understand this. It's like secret. <laughs> Many people cannot find this. But alhamdulillah, we, now we know this. So, the, this arrogant think people help him or he is great. Mm -hmm. So, this, this can be entered also. This is arrogant, but it's sifa to shaitan. It's, it's like character of shaitan. But it's dangerous because it can enter to shirk. I will teach you mm. later, but actually there is something shirk. Mm. Shirk. Shirk. It's like shirk that Allah never forgive. But of course, if he do tawbah before he die, Allah forgive everything. But anyway, it is so much dangerous because of shirk. It's you can think like... Shirk, shirk. shirk. Yes, yes, shirk. Uh, <laughs> it's like... Believe. Yes. Uh, or we'll believe on other God. Uh, or maybe yes, God. yes. So, uh, see, it's like ax tawhid. It's like opposite of tawhid. So, you see, La ilaha illallah, but, so, see, the, they say, there is no God but Allah, mm -hmm. but I say there is no worthy of worse worship, right? Mm -hmm. Except Allah. It is better translate, I said, right? Yes. But here, how, why? Because, mm -hmm. actually, they, there is God. Mm -hmm. There is not no God. Actually, there is God. Here, mm -hmm. God, meaning, La ilaha. You learnt it, right? Ilaha. Right. Ilaha yeah. here is not meaning just God. It's uh -huh. like uh, ilahia. You got this meaning is like worshiping something, worshiping. And here, worshiping not just bowing or sujud, like bowing, not just this. The worshiping. Also, you can connect this hadith. This hadith is so much important to you to understand yeah. easily. See? Right, right, right. Here, like, worshipping, not just you, of course we pray this most important worshipping, not just you pray to, like, stone or, you know, mm. not just stone or uh, trees, but anything can be the worshipping. Like, mm -hmm. you see, when you want back, you begging to who? Allah yes. alone, right? Yes. You ask help to Allah alone, and you to rely Allah alone, assistance to Allah alone, right? This yes, also right. can be worshipping. Oh. For example, you ask help to someone dead uh, already, or someone uh, salhin, someone good people, like or prophets, like same like Christian doing. Christ Christianity, how they doing? They worship. They they don't say we worship Jesus, but actually mm. what they did de doing is exactly worshiping Jesus. They, mm. they pray by name of Jesus, they ask help to Jesus, everything, this is worshipping. Oh. Even love can be worshipping. You love Jesus more than Allah. Actually, they associate anyway. <laughs> you love something for more than Allah, it can be also worshipping. Mm. And you, you fear something more than Allah, it can be also worshipping. Mm. Love, fear, asking help, everything can be worshipping. Mm. So, who have arrogance, right? Actually, they are worship themselves. <laughs> they mm. think they are God. So Israel can be, can be, they think they are God. So it's dangerous. This mm. is what Shaitan did it. So, Alhamdulillah, now you learned it, so you can know what's, how many dangerous about arrogance. But we mm. must be humble in front of Allah. Mm. And here, you can see, even someone become so much lost everything, everybody say bad words to them. I think uh, you learned many in this time, right? Yes, I, <laughs> so, that, uh, I, yeah. I, I really agree. I think it's very, very yeah. important. La ilaha illallah. And yeah. if you know the true meaning of this, yeah. like whatever people yeah. benefits you or what, what, whoever harm you, then you can uh, exactly. like, keep your like, honest and your, your like, faith to Allah. Yes. So I think Mashallah. Yeah, you I, I, you I understood like it very well. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> Allah yafta alaik. Mashallah. Barakallah fiq. So I think you understood so much well. So I don't need to explain you more. 
But inshallah, step by step, I will yes. repeat to you and tell you more knowledge, inshallah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, I'm so much thank you for listening from me and may Allah bless you and protect you and give you more strong Iman. I mean, <laughs> Jazakallah Khairan. You want to say anything? Now a lot of people are watching you. Now <laughs> 1,200. <laughs> What? How many? 200? Well, 1,200. More than. <laughs> 1,200. Yes. Say to something to them. They are our brothers, oh, sisters, Islam. Zakumullah. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> they say good yeah. words or bad words. Yeah, they, oh, everybody pray for you. Everybody say, I love you for Allah. I wish you become more good Muslim and become strong face. And they pray for you a lot. Mm -hmm. Say to them, uh, Okay. May I Allah reward you. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know what I, I have to say, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I think um, you know, like I did become a Muslim like one month, uh, one year, one year because I did Shahada last September. Yes. But like one, one year, I, I haven't learned too less. You know, like there is no Islam school, there is no mosque, and I was also very busy at making video you know like like one video in two days three days so always editing so there was no time yeah i know it's excuse but no time to study islam and yeah i, I think i felt like right now allah allah Tuala really give me the great chance to change myself because you you told me that in in the in in this hadith like Every word benefits you, but it's nothing. Only Allah gives you benefits. So I'm really appreciate in this chance, and also really appreciate to you, Abdul Qori. Of course, uh, appreciate to God, appreciate to Allah. Yeah. Of course, all, uh, and also thank you for watching this. Yeah. And I hope uh, everyone can like study together and have good deeds and change and go to the right path and hope meet in the Jannah together. Inshallah, Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much today. Inshallah, we study every day, Inshallah. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, thank you so much. Inshallah, anytime you want, you have free time, just tell me anytime I'm ready for help you and teach you. For uh, for the sake of I will Allah. Don't worry. Okay, thank you so much. And inshallah, may Allah bless you and open for you the the deep knowledge of Islam and open for you all of higher, all of good things, inshallah. May Allah protect you and reward you and guide you, inshallah. Barakallah fikum. Okay, thank you so much everyone to be with us. Inshallah, we will keep continuing, inshallah. And see you always, inshallah. And as Brother Kim say, inshallah, one day we meet all gathered together in Jannah, inshallah. Barakallahu fiqhum wa jazakum Allah khairan. Wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.